Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you for watching. And on this day where most Americans are reflecting and giving thanks for the things that they have in their life and their way of life, I want to really from the bottom of my heart thank you for for your viewership. Thank you for uh, for watching this show. Thank you for su your support, your your comments. Uh, thank you for, for being there every day when I post a video and you, um, you know, respond back to different things. And it's it's been an enjoyable last couple of years of doing this. And I hope for, for many more uh, in, in, in showing you things that might help open your mind and, and might uh, entertain you. Uh, just help you along your path of, of being a little bit more prepared and self-sufficient in your life. Today, I, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to record a video today. Thought about actually just taking the day off. And uh, I hope that you kind of bear with me on this because I decided I wanted to just kind of just talk to you. Just open up and uh, just kind of tell you what's going on in my heart and my mind. Uh, so it'll be a little bit different today. I'll admit lately, with all the things that's going on, I've actually struggled with what to talk about every day. You know, every day I wake up, typically my routine is, is I get up early, uh, between 5 and 5.30. I get up before everyone else, and have me, make me a cup of coffee, and I sit and drink that coffee, and I think about you know, what to, what content, you know, some ideas. And I usually keep a running list of ideas as I, throughout the day, they'll kind of pop up and I have a, I have a little note thing on my phone and then if something pops up of a good idea. I put it in there like, okay, that's, that's a, you know, a future video idea. And I still think about those things that, that, that hasn't changed. I still come up with ideas of, you know, oh, I could talk about this, about homesteading and, this about preparedness and, and maybe this about, you know, uh, you know, survival skills or, you know, herbal skills or how to, you know, things to do to be more prepared. And, you know, those ideas keep pop popping up. But what I'm struggling with is, is that in my heart, and I may be wrong, but I don't think that I am, I see the things happening in the world around us today. And it's, it's really become kind of a burden on my heart of not just getting my family more prepared and doing the things that we need to do around here to get ourselves ready for this thing that's coming, whatever you want to call it, this thing that's happening in our world. But I, I feel a, a, a great burden that while my channel here is not nearly as big as others. You know, I think it's, it's around 13,000, a little over 13,000 the last time I looked. And honestly, it's not something that I, I check all the time. Um, but I do know that a lot of you listen, and a lot of you listen on a regular basis and watch the videos. And so I know that I've been given a platform. And what I struggle with is this, I feel this burden this, this obligation, this duty to not just educate you, inform you, open your eyes, try to pass on little bits of tip, tidbits of knowledge and tips to you about preparedness and homesteading and self-sufficiency and, you know, that kind of stuff. But really this, I feel this, this duty to wake people up, to, to help people see and even for those of you that already do, to encourage you, to, to give you the support that you need right now to understand that the time that we are living in. I believe that probably never before in American history have we faced what we're facing right now. Um, the only thing that probably compares are the, the, the other two times in our history where, where it was it was really uncertain uh, whether or not 
we would attain freedom or we would uh, fall into tyranny. And of course, that's the Revolutionary War and then the Civil War. And the Civil War, while certainly some things of the outcome were positive, I think there were also very negative outcomes uh, after that war that um, the federal government became, that's, that's really kind of the, the starting point of when it started just growing out of control and unconstitutionally. And I think that we are at that point, that crossroads right now. And not just here in America, but globally and throughout human history. Uh, we have, as people, as humans, at times in our history, we are at a crossroads where one direction, we lose our individual rights. We're, they're, they're gone. Our freedoms, our, our, uh, our right to exist, our right to, to be and to do as we please as long as we aren't harming others. And the other side and the other road is increased power and control and dominion over us, this, uh, this tyranny. And sometimes in history... The good guys win, and sometimes in history, the bad guys win. And what we have learned in history is that when we give up freedom, there's really only one way to get it back, and that's through to fight for it. That's it. Um, right now, there is a possible chance that we can fight that battle, not through violent physical means, but through legal means to regain that, that freedom, that liberty. But we may have been beyond that point right now. Um, you know, there's court cases. Uh, there's things that are trying to be exposed in this election. And even though that election is only a small portion, a small thing when it comes to the overall tyranny that's being thrust upon us, um, if the things that are being exposed or claim to be exposed, if it really does happen, it would be a big game changer. <clears throat> but in my, in my heart, I do believe we are, we are involved currently in a civil war and that this civil war is only going to increase. It's only going to grow. And so going back to what I was saying when I started this, as I, I'm, I'm in a constant turmoil with the content of this channel of do I talk about, do I, do I do like a lot of other prepper channels, you know, occasionally talk about these things, but mostly just talk about, you know, the latest gear and how to pack a backpack and, you know, fix your bug out bag and best way to garden, and, uh, you know, tips on your, your homesteading, you know, uh, routine and all this kind of stuff. Or do I, do I use this platform to wake up and energize and, and get people aware that this republic, this freedom, this thing called liberty, that we have boasted our whole lives and our whole existence as Americans, that that's the thing that sets us apart from the rest of the world, that that's the thing that makes us who we are, that that's the thing that that emboldens us and strengthens us and that, that we, we, we pride ourselves on the fact that we are a free people. That this republic, it's in demise. It's in a t down spiral, downward spiral. It's in a tailspin. And that we have to wake up and realize that. We have to wake up and realize that this is not just a contested election that this is not just a health crisis that eventually will pass, that this is not just, you know, progressive thought and philosophy that's, that's become popular and is in the forefront right now, that it's really more than that. What is at stake here is our freedom. It's our republic. It's our right to be free. I struggle with this. My wife and I talk about it. I, you know, 
do I talk about the things that some people want to hear or do I talk about the things that other people want to hear or do I just follow my heart and 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 really try to help people understand and encourage the ones that already do that we are seeing the last days we are seeing the dying struggling breath of a nation that was once with all her many faults, with all the, the evil things that this nation has done in its history, we were still a beacon upon a hillside. We were still that shining light of freedom across this planet. We've brought freedom to other nations. We've helped them. We've done so sometimes at the point of a gun, and it was really an immoral way to do it. We've also influenced other uh, people around the world. One of the things that a lot of people forget about is that America um, has done is we've also brought the gospel. We've brought the Father's word to more people on this planet than probably any other time in history. Um, this nation was founded on and and really embraced and, and was a moral nation. Uh, even though there were many immoral things done from time to time, uh, we believed we were moral and we tr tried, even though through failures, we tried to be as moral as possible and we tried to always do the right thing and we tried to always have a, have a, a foundation on righteousness and, and to to know that there was a defining line between right and wrong, that, that goodness and morality were not relative ideas. These were not things that it just depended on your opinion whether something was right or wrong or good or bad or immoral or, or moral. We always believed that these were definite black and white things, that they were fixed, that good and evil were fixed, and that they didn't you know, there, there wasn't anything relative there. And nowadays, there is no good and evil. Everything is okay. Everything is accepted. No matter how vile you might think it is, no matter how strange and, and repugnant a certain behavior might be, it's praised as being this progressive philosophy, this acceptance, this tolerance, this you know, modern forward thinking, and it's praised and, and looked upon as a good thing, when the vast majority of the country knows that, that a lot of these behaviors that's being shoved down our throat right now in our nation are wrong. <clears throat> We're watching the demise of probably the greatest and most powerful nation that this, this planet has ever seen. We're watching it happen right before our eyes. And this generation, this one right now, I believe is going to witness either a great revolution and a return back to those principles of freedom and righteousness, or we're going to witness the absolute complete collapse of what was once a great people and a great nation. And we're, we're at that, that crossroads right now. And so, do I talk about it all the time? <laughs> I try not to. I try not to you know, be like some old, old-timey preacher that's constantly beating you overhead with the word every Sunday. I try to give you a break from it now and then, but honestly, I cannot, in good conscience, every day post a video and think that you know I could have taken that 15 to 20 minute opportunity there to reach thousands of people, and maybe within those thousands of people, reach a few that kind of opens their eyes and opens their hearts, opens their minds 
uh, and to see what's really going on. Or maybe out of those thousands of views, um, there's a few out there that, that they know these to be truth. And they're struggling because they feel that they're all alone out there. They feel that there's no one else that thinks like them. They feel that there's no one else that, that's aware of this and no one else that will stand with them. And maybe through making this video, um, I can encourage them and, and let them know that they're not alone. So what content will I end up choosing? <laughs> I, I'm going to follow my heart. And if that means that I'm not going to have some big channel with hundreds of thousands of subscribers like other preparedness and homesteading channels, so be it. I didn't start doing this to become rich and famous anyways. I started this channel because I thought it would be fun. And I thought maybe along the way I could you know, pass on a little uh, knowledge that I've acquired along my path in life. So, anyways, today, as you're you've probably set around and stuffing your stomachs full of uh, good food, hopefully you've been able to uh, have some good time with family and, and reflect on on your life, on the path that your heart has taken, uh, reflect upon this nation, and where it's going and where it's been, and, and, and reflect upon your family. I hope that while you have taken the time to give thanks to the Lord for, for all these things, to the Father in heaven, for what you've had and, and where you're going, that you're also getting yourselves ready uh, for what's ahead. And I don't want to ever sound like a doomsdayer. That's one thing I've, I've tried really hard not to do on this channel is to sound like a doomsdayer, to, to hype up anything, and to uh, you know, make anything much more dramatic than it needs to be. But the one thing that I, more and more every day I believe is is already set in stone, is that the, the path that we are headed, unless something happens, and it's going to have to happen soon to change this path, I think we're headed for a lot of turmoil, a lot of, a lot of chaos, a lot of probably even violence. Uh, and you and I and others are going to have to make some real hard decisions in our lives, I believe, coming up. And so... While I take time to encourage you, to share some information here and there, to entertain you, um, I hope that I'm also uh, helping prepare you for the battle that is ahead. Most of all, it's a spiritual battle. Uh, th this, what is happening, is, is absolutely 100% a spiritual battle. Uh, because we wage not, we don't wage battles in a physical sense, really. We, it's it's a it's a battle against, uh, you know, good and evil. It's a battle uh, against the heavenly Father and the the evilness that's on this planet that's trying so hard to defeat Him and to take over. And because of that spiritual battle, it ends up also becoming a physical battle. So, anyways, as I wrap this up, again, thank you. Uh, thank you for the kind words. Uh, I've had the wonderful opportunity of getting to meet some of you in person, and I hope to meet many more of you in person. And um, uh, the friendships that I've been able to, to build because of this channel uh, mean the world to me. And along the way, hopefully... I pray that we can help prepare you in your home a little bit more for the future that's ahead of us. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.